Hi everyone, I'm going to make this really quick. I felt it was pressed upon my spirit to talk about um, false prophets versus real prophets. Because there's a lot of people, not going to mention any names, claiming to be a prophet of the Most High or a prophetess. And when you try to correct them, they attack you with everything they have. So that peaceful, holier-than-thou persona that they first approached you with is totally out the window. And they bring out their claws and talons and their horns start to come out and whatnot. And it's like you're looking at Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Dr. Jekyll looking normal and Mr. Hyde looking like a total demon. Um, just be careful. Um, a true prophet is going to tell you to test the spirits. They're going to tell you to question everything. Don't believe yourself. Only trust Jesus. And uh, go to the Most High for everything and anything. A true prophet is going to have prophecy after prophecy after prophecy that is not going to ever, you know, be false. It's going to be true. Every prediction will come to pass if God allows it. There are some prophecies that a prophet will prophesy, but God will not let it come to pass if the prophet warns and uh, listens to the warning. Good example is Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar had a dream that he was, long story short, he was in the wilderness for seven years and he didn't understand what the dream meant. Daniel, Prophet Daniel, interpreted the dream for him and prophesied unto Nebuchadnezzar that if he didn't acknowledge God, Jesus Christ, as the Lord of Lords, God of Gods, King of Kings, and that God is the one that can raise up kings and queens and make them fall, and God gives you authority and rulership over a land to whom, whom, to whom he ever chooses to. If Nebuchadnezzar didn't acknowledge Jesus Christ and give him all the glory, that um, he was going to end up in the wilderness for seven years as a form of correction. So if Nebuchadnezzar would have listened, that never would have happened. So what happened was, was that Nebuchadnezzar glorified himself the first time around, and he ended up in the woods for seven years as a form of correction. So the prophecy came to pass. If Nebuchadnezzar would have listened, the prophecy would have been stopped. So true prophecies can be stopped before they come into full fruition if the person that is being warned listens. Nebuchadnezzar became righteous, long story short, repented, and so forth. Anyway, um... So that's the part of true prophecies. The, the prophet will never have a false prophecy. Every prediction will come to pass. And like I said, some prophecies can be stopped if the person that is that is being, you know, given the message is warned, listened, the prophecy can be stopped. Jesus is the God of truth. He is not a liar. So these prophets that are of the Lord are supposed to embody Jesus Christ. Just saying. They're not supposed to lie or tell false prophecies. They're supposed to be true. So you have to be careful who you listen to. Because if you come across a person that claims to be a prophet of God and they are, they prophesy something to you and it doesn't come to pass, then it should be the first, it should be a big red flag for one. For two, that should be a major indicator that that person is not hearing from God or that person's hearing from Satan. So a false prophet is going to have a laundry list of prophecies that will never come to pass. They will just be false prophecy after false prophecy after false prophecy. And these false prophets, instead of accepting correction from you or me, they will continue to prophesy claiming it's from God when it's not. Um, they like to reel you in with things like telling you what you want to hear, buttering up a message, putting a pitching a good sales pitch to you. And then when you try to question them or try to get confirmation for yourself, they get very upset. That's the Jezebel in them kicking in. So you need to be extremely careful. Um, God says in the book of John that there will be false prophets that will claim there will be false prophets, there will be false Christs. 
and to test every spirit if they are of him. And in the book of Deuteronomy, I think it's 18, chapter 18, verse 22, says that if a prophesy, if a prophet prophesies something unto you and it does not come to pass, that is not the prophet that which the Father has sent. So in other words, that father, the Father didn't send that prophet to speak for you because Jesus is not the Father of lies. Satan is. But if the prophecy does come to pass, and that's after each prophecy comes to pass, then Jesus sent that person to speak, to prophesy. So you have false prophets that will say, um, oh, well, I had this prophet come prophecy come true in that one. I heard from Jesus then. And they try to cover up their false prophecies. They try to justify it by saying, well, I just made a mistake. Jesus doesn't make mistakes, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus is perfect. Okay? So, if a prophet tries to, if a a self-proclaimed prophet tries to tell you that they are a prophet of God, but you know in your heart, and you know based on proof that they have false prophecies out there, okay, and they try to just say, well, this prophecy I said was true, or that one was true, and I made a mistake, this one's true, you need to know and face up to the facts that that person is not hearing from God, they're hearing from Satan, because Jesus does not make mistakes. The only perfect one is Jesus. He will never make a mistake. He knows everything. And he will never give a prophet or prophetess a false prophecy or a false message. Stick to your Bible, ladies and gentlemen. An example of false prophecies is a lot of rapture date setters. They love to date set the rapture. The rapture, the date that they give you will come. And go, nothing happens, and it happens again, and it happens again, and it happens again. And people still flock to these channels and listen to these people like nobody's business. I mean, they listen to these people like, I don't know, sometimes I wonder if these types of individuals that flock to these messages and do not test the spirits, if they're either mentally deficient, blind, or both, or stupid. Forgive my expression, I'm just being honest, and I'm keeping it real. Just be careful. Test everything. Question everything. Even don't trust me, only trust God. Go to God about everything. Confirm if what I'm telling you is true. I believe that there are prophets and prophecies of the Lord out there. But they're not many. They're so few in number. And a prophet or a prophetess will not proclaim outright that they are a prophet of the Lord because that's very prideful. God says that we are to be humble and think lowly of ourselves. He will take a lowly person that's humble and raise them up and bless them. But a person that's prideful, he will bring down, and I mean bring down, and destroy. God cannot stand prideful people. Pride is one of the seven deadly sins. And a lot of these false prophets that, again, like to sell you a good game are very prideful. You need to be extremely careful. We are, I believe, in my opinion, in the day of sorrows. Look at Mark 13. Look in the scriptures. The Lord talks about the time of sorrows. And you have to be extremely careful who you listen to. That being said, have a blessed day or night, wherever part you are in the world.